Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm Grant. Hello. What's your name? I'm Dee. My name's Cliff. How are you? I'm not too bad, man. I know you're juggling hands. <laughs> are you wanting to do this? Sure. I normally ask people three or four questions. Okay. Are you up for that? Yeah. Can I just take a sip of water first? Because I'm so. Roasting. Four questions. Three easy ones and a trick air one, okay? Okay. So, what's your thoughts on animals is the first question. Um, I was originally raised on my granddad's farm, so I was raised with cows, dogs, cats, sheep, so kind of like they're creatures like everybody else. Yeah, I agree. We're all animals. We're animals too. Um, so, people who abuse animals or animal abuse, what do you think of that? Uh, subjugating their power over a creature that's not able to communicate, that's not okay. I agree. That was a great answer. Um, number three, what do you, how would you qualify abuse or how would you describe abuse? Um, okay. In what terms? So, if, if I said I was abusing an animal, what, what would that amount to? Would I be hurting the animal? Would be hurting, making screaming, it? like treating it any less. I don't know, they deserve love as much as anybody else. So like, I don't know, kicking, punching, shouting, even screaming at your dog because he's barking. I mean, yeah. he doesn't know he's doing anything wrong. Okay, I would, that's a good answer by the way. Thanks. My answer that I always give is unnecessary harm may it be mental or physical. Yeah. Like if yeah. you're being bad to them for, yeah. for a reason that's not necessary. So the fourth question is going to be harder, and it's going to be especially hard. I, I want to see your answer on this. Okay. What about farmed animals, the ones we take into slaughterhouses? What do you think of that? Well, from my own background, raised within a farming background, we like I have been there when calves have been born, reared, yeah. treated, been fed, watered. They weren't ever hurt, or abused, or like, or hit. They need to, like. Dairy farm or beef farm, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, beef farmer. Okay. So we didn't do dairy farming. We kept our calves yeah. with their mothers the entire way through. Um, I mean, At I... What age did they kill that? About 16 months, 18 months, something like that? I double check. We're probably close to roughly. two years. Yeah. yeah, until about two years old. Yeah. So... So that would be my issue. No matter how good the treatment is up until that point. I'm not saying farmers are deliberately bad to their animals, but... Up and through the point, and I don't blame farmers. By the way, I blame, I blame the consumer. Farmers only produce and what people supply or what people demand. It's supply and demand. So you could give somebody the best treatment possible, but at some point, if you put them on a truck and take them to the slaughterhouse where they get shot in the head with a captive bolt, hung upside down by a shackle around their leg, and somebody pulls a knife across, I've seen it too. I've been in slaughterhouses. Then all good treatment goes out the window. That is once I think once it's out of the farmer's hands, once they're passed on to the slaughterhouse, they don't have any say in how the animal's treated. Yeah. Um, there could be reforms done in maybe a kinder way. That if of course people are always going to consume meat, I still eat meat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean I, I like I knew from a very young age that's what was happening when those cows were born and reared. That's yeah. what they were there. For. You're not conflicted in any way, saying that you love animals and you see you you see ill treatment of them as bad and you see them as creatures just like us but yet we take them into a slaughterhouse for a completely unnecessary reason. I appreciate that but also the fact that um, I think there's like a line drawn where like there's where animals specifically bred for that purpose yeah. do you know what I mean which I, I understand the conflict but at the same time there's animals being bred specifically for that purpose to do that and I think there could be better things done with regards more more humane ways of actually if we're still going to consume there's always going to be a consumer market well there's always going to be people consuming animals and i get it we're taught an arbitrary line when we're young so i was born in the countryside right beside farms i was taught the same arbitrary line they love cats and dogs and if somebody shoots harambe i'm supposed to get upset bullfighting i'm supposed to get upset but the things that happen in slaughterhouses to completely innocent animals that are completely unnecessary once you realise it's unnecessary, I haven't eaten an animal product since I was 19. I'm in my mid 50s now. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, it's not an ego trip. I'm not looking for respect. I'm asking people that if you think kicking a dog is bad or shouting at a dog, well, then why is it okay to stick a knife in a. And you know, cows are gentle animals most of the time. Why is it okay to stick a knife in their throat for a completely unnecessary reason? How is that justifiable? I mean, is there not more human, more human ways in order to, like, if we're going to, cons obviously the animal's going to be consumed, are there more human ways in order to kind of put well, it down? Well, let me, let me answer that two ways. 
Number one, we're all taught the humane slaughter lie. It's, the word humane means benevolence, it means to be kind to or to care for somebody. The word slaughter means to kill somebody in a violent fashion. So that's an oxymoron. Those two words don't belong together. That's to make the consumer feel good about something. You've seen it in a slaughterhouse, you know that it's terrible. You know it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> right. And number two, how would you humanely kill somebody that doesn't want to die? Have an ocean. I know, and people say that to me all the time. Let's do it in a more humane way. Well, what is the most humane way to kill somebody if they want to continue with their life? Euthanasia is a different thing. If somebody's suffering, then perhaps we should put, allow them to be out of their suffering. But to kill young animals at two years old, they've done nothing wrong on anybody. They just want to live their lives. I don't see what the justification is in that. Does that make any sense? I appreciate that, but also then the same point comes from, like, if we didn't, then there would be a surplus of cattle, which would, livestock, especially within Northern Ireland, is, like, our farming communities are, like, from, are like the, the, the primary sector. I get it. Do you know what I mean? I get and if it. that was the case, then it would be overrun with them at the well, same that, No, we wouldn't, because... So, like I said to you, it's supply and demand. And why are all those cows there in the first place? It's because farmers are artificially inseminating cows to bring those animals into existence. We didn't artificially inseminate them. Well, you put a bull to them. We have a bull, but we force them to. Yeah. But that's how they come into existence. Most farmers, and, and mostly dairy farms, will artificially inseminate now with a rod. Right, okay, so they're bringing thousands of... The, the cattle herd in Ireland is absolutely huge. I believe there's something like 9 million cows in Ireland. Like, and there's only a population of 5 million people, so it's nearly 2 cows per person. It's all money. Yeah, it's all money. And I get it. So, so the farmers are, are in a situation where they're bringing animals into existence that wouldn't normally be brought into existence. So as demand would go down if the people go to a vegan diet, then farmers would do something else and they would bring less Not animals into existence. I get it. To a vegan diet. I, don't, I, I love meat. I don't think I could. I don't think why, I could. Why do you think you couldn't? Because I enjoy the taste of it. Do you think taste is a justification for sticking a knife in somebody's throat? I'm asking you tricky questions deliberately. I'm not judging you, by the way, because I used to eat it too. I just... I don't agree with the... Um, I can respect anybody who chooses that, li that path in life, but personally for myself, it's not one that I'm accustomed to, nor would I feel comfortable with the lifestyle, ch ch lifestyle choices or changes that come with it. Yeah. Um, what about the animals? They don't feel comfortable going into a slaughterhouse. Do you ever think of it that way from the victim's perspective? Because they actually genuinely are the victim in the situation. You know, you must look at any injustice from the perspective of the victim. And the animals are the victim in this situation, not human beings. Do you, does that make sense to you? Oh, it does make sense and I think it's a good question, but not one that I have an answer for right now. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's the first time many people have thought about it. Uh, I appreciate you still one with me, for sure. Um, I'm gonna go, can I give you a card before you go? Yes, of course. Maybe I've given you some things, maybe to change your perspective slightly, I don't know. I know it's uh, when you come from a farming community, it's, it's a very different way. And like I say, I'm not here judging people. Like I say, I'm a vegan animal rights activist, by the way. Uh, I, and I people think we're well. People think we're anti-farmer. I'm anti-consumer. I'm okay. anti the consumer buying the product okay. in the first place. So, thank you for stopping no with me. My YouTube's at the bottom there, and there's a few resources and stuff there worth okay. checking out. Have a good day.